Hi everyone, my name is George Florovsky, and I'm here to talk to you about Equine Smart Contracts for Racing. I lead the dev team from MLabs that contributes to Equine Smart Contracts codebase. Today, we're going to walk through the life cycle of an equine horse race, illustrating some of the design choices that seek to preserve the fun of horse racing while keeping user funds safe and ensuring that the rules of the race are followed. An equine race goes through eight stages. First, Equine announces an upcoming race on chain, including terms and details of the race and the announcement. Then, owners register their horses into the race and pay the entrance fee. After registration, Equine assigns horses to matchups and gates, revealing the track and weather conditions that will apply during the race. Before the race begins, horse owners get an opportunity to scratch out their horses from the race. Then, the randomized race is simulated via Equine's high-fidelity physics model and rendered for spectators in beautiful 3D. When the race ends, the results are published on-chain. Based on these results, rewards from the prize pool are distributed to the winners. Finally, owners retrieve their horses on their way out of the race. Before we get into each of these stages of racing, let's take a quick detour to talk about smart contracts. Most of you may be familiar with how crypto wallets work. You can send your tokens to someone by signing and submitting a transaction to the blockchain. A transaction is a written statement that lists the tokens being spent, information provided as context, tokens being minted or burnt, outputs being sent out to recipients, and the required signatories of the transaction. If the tokens spent by a transaction are coming from a wallet, then all that matters is that the wallet signed the transaction. By contrast, if a transaction is spending tokens held by a smart contract, then the smart contract's code can inspect the entire transaction, inputs, outputs, info, mints, burns, and signatories. The transaction is only valid if the smart contract is satisfied with like the general vibe of the transaction. In this way, while wallets require a specific person to take a look at a transaction to authorize it, smart contracts allow us to encode a rich set of rules to control what happens on the blockchain often without any specific person being given special authority. What do we gain from using smart contracts in equine? Well, we eliminate the need for equine to hold custody over users' horses, entrance fees, and the prize pool during races. Instead, all of these things are controlled by well-defined rules encoded in the equine smart contracts. These rules dictate the normal flow of races, but they can also deal with exceptional situations that may arise. For example, Equine is allowed to cancel a race before the starting bell rings, but horse owners are guaranteed to be able to retrieve their horses and entrance fees from the race if this happens. Similarly, if a race stalls for any reason, owners can retrieve their horses and fees from the race after a safety timeout elapses. How do you find out about races? Equine displays the schedule of upcoming races on its website. When it's time for registration to open for a given race, Equine will officially announce the race on chain, specifying the details and terms of the race in the announcement, such as the start time, registration deadline, entrance fee, track location, and description. The announcement also describes the prize pool and how it will be distributed to the winners of the race. Announcing the race on the blockchain ensures that everyone can see the race and that the terms of the race are fixed and preserved for later reference. Equine takes fairness and reproducibility of races very seriously. On the one hand, we want to preserve the fun of players discovering what their horses are capable of in unpredictable races. This requires certain information to be kept secret by Equine. On the other hand, we want players to be able to trust the integrity and fairness of the game. To do this, we use reproducible algorithms to calculate horse matchups in races and simulate race outcomes. These algorithms are deterministic up to the actual horses that registered for the race and the random seed that is used to randomize the race. At the time that the race is announced, Equine commits to everything that is needed to simulate the race except for the set of registered horses. Naturally, we can't reveal everything at race announcement as that would ruin the fun of players not knowing exactly how the race will turn out. However, to keep everything honest, Equine includes hashes of the simulation engine code and the random seed in the race announcement. If Equine were to use a different simulation engine or random seed to generate the race results, 
then this could be detected by the mismatch with the hashes in the announcement. This means that all racing outcomes in equine should be reproducible by an independent third party that cross-references the private information against the public hashes and runs the race simulations. Once a race has been announced, you can participate by sending your horse and entrance fee to the racing smart contract, indicating the race you want to register for. You can optionally choose which of your jockeys, horse skins, and jockey skins to apply to your horse during the race. After registration, Equine matches up horses to race each other and assigns them to number gates on the racetrack. We run a blockchain query to detect the registered horses, filter out any entries that don't comply with the rules of the race, and use the random seed to randomly match up horses and assign them to gates. The matchups and gate assignments are then posted on chain, alongside the racetrack and weather conditions. With the matchups, gate assignment, and track conditions revealed, players get an opportunity to scratch their horses out of the race before it begins. If you get cold feet, you can back out by paying the scratching fee, which is a percentage of the entrance fee. When it's time for the race to begin, Equine applies its sophisticated model to simulate the horse race. The outcome of the race depends on the racing horse's physical and mental abilities, the jockey's skills, and the race track and weather conditions. All of these are combined together with the random seed and fed into the simulation engine, which accounts for the detailed physics of horses sprinting around and in front of each other towards the finish line. Spectators can watch a beautiful 3D rendering of each race on Equine's website. When the race is over, Equine publishes the results of the race simulation on chain. This allows the winners of the race to claim their corresponding rewards from the prize pool. Reward distribution is controlled by the racing smart contracts without any further interaction needed from equine. Finally, on their way out of the race, horse owners retrieve their horses from the racing smart contracts. Hopefully, they've enjoyed the thrill of watching their horses perform at their limit against their peers and are queuing up for the next race. I want to thank you, the equine community, for giving us the opportunity to build this game for you. I hope that you've gained a clear glimpse behind the curtain into how things work and perhaps will appreciate the technical innovations that we push forward as you enjoy racing, breeding, and trading your horses on equine. We've covered the racing smart contracts today, but we have lots more to say about the dynamic token metadata, horse breeding, physics simulation, and other technologies driving our game. Stay tuned.